like how y'all feel Cause I feel so awesome How you feel awesome I guess that awesome You fine and your yeah awesome Wanna roll awesome Let's go awesome Yeah Hands in the sky like A W E Some call me awesome Some call me busy Call me awesome Gator on my shirt Two survivors in the West meeting here in the conference semifinals. Game one. Joined by Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. This is Kevin Harlan. Conference semifinals. The playoff atmosphere intensifies as State Farm shows us the starting five. First for the Warriors. Ante and Curry in the backcourt. We've got Udo. They look to him to provide that necessary presence down low. Then it's Darrell Wright and it's Lee in at the power forward. And then for the Los Angeles Lakers. And it's Andrew Bogut patrolling the middle. He is such an asset to this team. They love what he brings every night. Then there's World Peace. And it's Gasol at the four spot. We saw them looking very tough. Winning that last round pretty easily in five games. And home court advantage is what this team worked so hard to get over the course of the regular season. Now they need to put it to use. Oh, most definitely. I mean, they want to get out to a quick start, get the fans behind them, get the building rocking, try to create some doubt in their opponent, and um, let the other guys know just how hard it's going to be to deal with them. What's up, YouTube? You know who it is. It's your boy, Mims, and I'm coming at you guys with the next round of the playoffs featuring the Golden State Warriors. Yes, sir, we're feeling awesome getting through to the next round, the Western Conference Semis. And um, honestly, I'm just excited. I hope we can make it all the way to the finals. But we're going to take it one game at a time. So let me try to take Steph Curry and get the James Shake. What Mims video isn't complete without the James Shake? As, um, as Brandon James takes it to the rack. And another clip over here. Mims to the rim gets the foul. And he's going to the line. So honestly, I'm just trying to take it one game at a time. Trying to improve my attributes. And whenever I get, uh, I think I'm going to show an attribute video by the end of this round. Just show you guys how I'm doing. As I get a milestone that I didn't really know existed, 20 completed free throws, I'll take it. So we're going to play defense here. Time's running out. We know Jeremy Tyler's going to have to take this. Rebound, Brandon James pushing it up court. I see Kobe Bryant running. I oop it up to Kobe Bryant. And alley oop so nice. I had to show it twice in the top right corner of the screen. So... What I want to tell you guys about is, I know most of you guys are subscribed mainly for my My Player videos. I want to be straight up with y'all. The way you're going to see as many My Player playoff videos as you can is 100% view based. If you could thumb it up, then uh, if you could do your part by thumbing it up. The reason for this is, no, I don't want as many views as possible on my videos. Well, obviously I do. I'm a commentator. But, um... I just want to make sure everyone sees the previous playoff video before I go on to the next one because imagine being a subscriber not seeing the previous video and then seeing this one hold on I got a time oh never mind it's not that nice of a play it's just a nice easy layup you know I'm spoiled I have to make nice plays or else it doesn't really count as a good play you know like a good uh, highlight worthy moment which that wasn't anyways but um, back to what I was saying if you got uh, it's not just imagine being a subscriber that's subscribed to me I'm looking forward to the playoff series especially that's the pinnacle of my player everyone wants to see the playoff series and I just finished the previous round and you come back to the next round as I get a nice block on Andres Biedrinch and um, you see me playing the Warriors and you don't know what happened even so I just want to make sure everyone got to see it as I make Andrew Bogut cut you see me I got you uh, from the post so you can do your part by making sure everyone sees this video by thumbing it up you know commenting I always love talking to my subs and tweeting at too so that's a small little bit on that enough of the uh, telling you guys how to watch the next video and how to make my videos come out faster let's get straight into the commentary as the first half is almost over but I get a nice little windmill dunk in front of everyone so here goes Metal World Peace, formerly known as Ron Artest. Brandon James coming off a terrible set screen by Andrew Bogut going to the left, seeing Kobe in the post. Gives it to Kobe in the post. Kobe cheese jump shot and he gets to go. 
I've never seen that hop step jump shot, but I started using it at the gym and it's actually pretty effective, so I can't hate on it. Brandon James gets another James shake to go to send him to the line, and yeah, I'll take it, you know. Get my two free throw shots that I'm nearly automatic from. And um, I'm very confident in this playoff series, but I never understood why the Golden State Warriors always make it in. They never have any good additions, and they just randomly get in. It 100% just doesn't make sense to me. So, eh, at the end, whatever. Just It's the Golden State Warriors. I'll take it as a gift from God or whatever, and just try to beat them as soon as possible. So, Monte Ellis misses a jump shot. Passes it to Kobe Bean Bryant. Kobe Bean Bryant sees me wide open for three. It's got to be the shoes. <laughs> you got to go buy yourself a pair of B-trains if you want to be have a better three-point rating. You know what I'm saying? And right over here, a good set screen. I would have been open, but for some reason, I they just decided not to pass it to me. So I have to take it in with a nice foul and one, and I get my three points that way. I'll get my three points the hard way, you know? My teams are going against me. It's like Brandon James versus everybody. You know what I'm saying? So over here, nice crossover move. But that was supposed to be a pump fake. And it went in anyway. So I'm like, I ain't even mad. I'll take it for what it is. <laughs> over here, I get a steal. I anticipated the pass. Playing the passing lanes. Get another nice windmill. Foul and one. We got to go. We got to get this. Let's go. We're down by three if I make this. It's late, but it gets to, uh, but it goes. So, right over here, Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bean Bryant taking it in. Who says I never show Kobe Bryant footage? He gets the foul and one pumping his fist like he's Pauly D from the Jersey Shore. Let's go. Oh, Monte Ellis, that was bad D on my part. And he get answers back with a three of his own. We're down by five with four minutes to go. I have to get a James Shake to make a play. Finding Pau Gasol wide open for mid-range. All right, we got to play some defense now. We cannot let any threes. We definitely can't let any threes, but we, more importantly, we want to stop right here. If we get a stop right here, then we should be good. We should have momentum on our side. We're at home. We just want to get the crowd into it just so it could be easier for us to perform. All right, there we go. That's what we needed. Pal Gasol, I see Derek Fisher. Derek Fisher is clutch. Derek Fisher is clutch. Let's go down by one Andrew Bogan makes one free throw So we're tied right here Even if Andrew Bogan misses almost all of his free throws The guy's like a white Shaquille O'Neal Or an Australian Shaquille O'Neal I'm not sure if he is But look at that pack by Pal Gasol Deserving a player of the game I see Metal World Peace breaking in We take the lead with 2 minutes and 46 seconds Let's go Brandon James looking for uh, looking to make a play. I want an efficient play being made. I'm making one for Kobe Bryant. You got to go to the greatest closer in the game or one of them, you know, all time one of the greatest closers. Kobe Bryant, with time running down, gets the bucket to go up by four. Stephen Curry, let's stop him here. We don't want to tie. We don't want them to tie. Oh, he was pump faking. All right, good D. Monte Ellis trying to take it in. Passes it to David Lee. Passes it to Stephen Curry. No way. No way that's going in. All right, Andrew Bogut gets the re. Passes it to Kobe Bean. Kobe Bean passes it to Brandon James. Brandon James trying to take it in. Pump fakes. No, he's looking. He's looking for somebody. Gives it to his partner in crime, Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Kobe pulls up. Passes back to Brandon James. Time's running out. Brandon James got to make a play. Time running out. Passes it to Gasol. Shot clock cheese is a go. And we're up by four. <laughs> All right, Monte Ellis. Monte driving it in. Monte Ellis taking a shot wide open. How do we not guard him? It don't matter. He misses and they foul me. So anyways, this video looks like it's coming to a close. If I make these free throws... All right, we got this. We got this game on lock. Looks like game one's coming to uh, uh, going to us. If you guys like this video, ahead th uh, again, thumbs it up. Besides that, it's your boy Mim signing out, and hopefully I could come at you guys with game two very soon. I just want to make sure everyone sees this video. But besides that, you guys, it's your boy Mims, and I'm out. 
You guys go up 1-0 with the win tonight, getting things off on the right foot in this series. How do you capitalize on that moving forward to Game 2? I want each and every one of the guys on this team to take that feeling we got when the final buzzer sounded and remember it. We got to keep striving for that, and only that, every game for the rest of this series. Tasting victory once is good, but we got to stay hungry. I ain't satisfied with just the first W, and I don't think any of the rest of my teammates are either.